Toxic popcorn is designed to be completed in 45 minutes to an hour by all ages using low-cost materials. Here's how to implement the lesson. Break the class up into teams of four or up to six and hand out the worksheet. Explain the challenge. They have 60 minutes to save the city, approximately 40 minutes to design, build, test, and redesign their solution. The class can either choose the best solution from all the teams with only that one team implementing, or if you have time, have all teams implement their solutions. You can break this down over two class periods if necessary. Use a timer and give students regular time checks. Prompt with questions that lead to solutions if necessary. Successful solutions include using tension or compression. Tension. Students tie ropes on either side of the tire tube, and once it's around the container, they pull. Using tension, the students can lift the container with the toxic popcorn. Compression. Students make the tube smaller than the diameter of the container. They tie ropes around the tire tube and pull so that the tire tube is larger than the diameter of the container. Once the tire tube is around the container, they can let go, and the tire tube will snap onto the container using compression. There are other solutions where students attempt to use just the rope. This often fails as it's not stable. A good reminder is that failure is productive and leads to a successful solution. Encourage teams to draw their design and write out and sketch their final process. After approximately 40 minutes of designing, building, testing, and revising, have each team explain their final design and process with the class. Have the class vote for the best design to implement or have every team implement their design and process. When teams are implementing their process, encourage them to communicate with their teammates. It's fun if the rest of the class forms a circle around the team, cheers them on, and offers suggestions if things go off course. Once the teams hopefully save the city, do a whole class debrief on what went well and what could be done better. Celebrate the fact that these students designed a solution using their creativity while learning how engineers impact the world.